I was at your typical, you know, tech company in Chicago, about 3,000 people in like a goofy uh, techie atmosphere. And it was cool. We fostered a lot of like innovation there. But I remember sitting in an interview office and I was like, let's be honest, like mops and brooms, it's not real sexy, right? I found that everyone um, is really motivated by other things than that. It's a bigger picture. I mean, if you look around, the, you know, the warehouse, the R&D lab, like you'll find the tech inside of just mops and brooms, right? Anything down to just the fine bristles um, and a certain angle that this goes on. These guys will be scrubbing mops and, you know, scouring pads for 2,000, 5,000 reps over and over again just to find the, the slightest detail that gives us, a, you know, a technological advantage. But to everyone out there, the audience that's in the same position as me, there's way more beyond just sweeping a floor or mopping a floor than, than you really think. I just thought there were mops and brooms. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't really know what what all went into it. It's not something um, you know, that a lot of people can grasp and understand until they actually come and see here. The passion that you know, everyone has here um, for the product and how innovation just kind of you know, organically grows. These guys just come in every morning. <laughs> You're like, how are they so pumped up about this stuff every day? But it, they break it down to just a fine science. Oceders put in the investments um, to make sure that these products last long. And, I think at every touch point you'd be surprised to see you know, the pride and the self-worth that you know, each person's putting in uh, to the finished product.